Well, new this morning, the dangers of severe weather impact Alabamians each year. And as a TV meteorologist, I work with folks at the National Weather Service to help keep you and your family safe. Joining me now is Warning Coordinator Meteorologist John DeBlock. Good morning, John. Good morning, Ashley. He's glad to have you here. So, a couple of questions for you this morning. Mm -hmm. A lot of folks see what we do as TV meteorologists presenting the weather, but you are a crucial part in that conversation as far as severe storms are concerned. And we've definitely had some active weather. Weather this year. So, my first question to you is um, what is, so tell the audience kind of what's important with the warnings and what are your goals in issuing these warnings? Well, it's all a team that we work together to protect life and property, and that really is our ultimate goal is to keep people appraised of that weather forecast and when it changes like it did between mm -hmm. yesterday and today to get those updates out keep people informed so that they can be prepared and protect themselves and their families. Right, and a lot of people may not know this, but the National Weather Service actually issues the actual warning. It's our job as the TV meteorologist to present that warning in a quick and efficient manner. And this year, we've done pretty well on warning times, but one of your jobs is to really help create better lead times. Mm -hmm. We had a couple misses, some may say. We had some shorter lead times. And that was particularly in the Bentbrook community near McCalla earlier this year. So what are some, kind of looking back on the season, what are some improvements that could be made? Well, I think the McCalla tornado is a great example of being prepared and being aware of the kind of the background information. Um, I kind of equate it to taking your child to the doctor. Very rarely does that child get suddenly sick and, oh my goodness, it's a severe situation. Uh, typically, there's some symptoms ahead of time. The day before the McCullough tornado, we had an area outlook for an enhanced elevated threat for severe weather. We had a th severe thunderstorm watch that was issued before that tornado and then a severe thunderstorm warning. And of course, in the spring in Alabama, mm -hmm. when you hear that word thunderstorm, you need to think that a tornado might be happening next. Now, unfortunately, that tornado did touch down before we issued that tornado warning. We got it out as quickly as, as soon as we saw that tornado signature on the radar. Yeah, and then in, in contrast to that, this last event where we had several tornadoes, we had upwards of 20-minute warn time. So, right. a, a credit to you all for that. Thank you. And uh, my, kind of wrapping up here, the last question is we near the end of severe weather season. What are some of your goals as the National Weather Service as we're rounding out the severe weather season? Well, the logo on my shirt is for WRN, Weather Ready Nation. We mm -hmm. want folks to be ready for weather. We can't stop it. We can hopefully help you be better prepared and aware of what's coming. So how should folks be prepared for severe weather? Follow your favorite local or national media. You can always go to our website, weather.gov, and we've got the latest information there for you. All right. Thank you so much for being here this morning with us, John. And remember, severe weather really can affect Alabamians all year long, even though we do have our elevated seasons. And uh, right now, still ahead, or excuse me, we are continuing to watch um, for severe weather this year. Be sure to mark your calendars for April 27th. Our weather team is going to be recapping. It's the five-year anniversary. Hard to believe that. Mm -hmm. But right now, we'll send it back over to Art.